So I have another question for you guys. This is Hero Double R back at it again with another video. And this one says, Hi, I'm a big fan. Been watching you for years, but I noticed one thing about your videos. You clearly do not like the R6. It always ranks so low in your shootout videos. And you say that's because you are they're not comfortable. But isn't that the point of a super sport to be a great on the track? Comfort shouldn't matter in these comparison videos. Anyway, just curious if comfort is the only thing you don't like about these or is there something else about it? Thanks for the videos. Keep up the great work. I'm also a CBR rider for what it's worth. Dark. All right, Dark. That is a new name. I've never heard that one before. Let's talk about the R6. You know what? Dark, you are right. I am not a big fan of the R6. That is the truth. And I guess in this video, we will we'll talk about why. Before I get into this video, and before I get a lot of hate in the comments, because I know it's coming, I made a video on the R6. I think I have a history video actually on the R6. And I think if you've watched my comparison videos, you probably have seen it before. But I give the R6 praise for its super sport bike attributes. I mean, like you said, it's a super sport. Comfort shouldn't matter. In terms of track bikes, if you want the best track bike, then sure, R6, that makes a lot of sense. I, I co-sign that. And he, I mean, R6 is one of the most popular track bikes for a reason. But I personally don't really like the R6. And there's a couple reasons why. And yes, you mentioned it first, the, the comfort. I'm a street rider. I go to the track. I've been to the track a few times, but 99% of the time I'm riding, I'm on the street. So when I think about what bike I want, I'm always going to consider factors like comfort and reliability and things of that nature. And the reason why is because I'm on the street a lot. I'm not at the track. And the R6 is so damn compromising as a bike. It is so uncomfortable. Like I don't and it's just like my my RC51. They're both pretty equivalent in terms of the comfort. So it's not like I don't understand owning one. But if you're going to have one bike, I really don't think you should get an RC51. I don't think you should get an R6. They're very uncomfortable. And I've felt this way my whole life. I've been pretty decent shape. And even when I was in my early 20s, when I would sit on these bikes and even rode a couple of them, I just felt them. they were very, very uncomfortable. And so I'm not, I'm not going to recommend something like that or I'm not going to score highly on something like that when I personally don't like it. The reason why I break it up into categories isn't to unanimously say this bike is better than the other bike. The reason why I do that is because I want people to make the decision on their own. If you are somebody that says, I don't care about the performance of the bike, I want the most comfortable bike, then you can look at the which one scored the highest in comfort. If you want to look at the one with the best features, look at the features. That's why I break them up into categories and don't just say which one I think is the best. The R6 has more than just the comfort factor. It also has a lack of bottom end power and it makes the least amount of bottom and power out of all of the bikes. In terms of power, like yes, it makes a great top end power bike, but it's not great on the bottom end. So if you want a bike that you have to rev out, and it's really tall seat height too, by the way, like 34 inches, which is extremely tall. You get this really high seat on a sport bike with really low clip on, so your back is like this the whole time and you have to rev it out to get any power it's it's the worst street bike you can buy it is the worst like it's not even up for debate that is the worst bike you can get on the street the funny thing is i actually think the last generation r6 not the most latest one but the one before it that one looked the best to me when you look at that thing like that is one of the best looking bikes ever made it just is i mean it's absolutely gorgeous all around so i mean the r6 look nice and they're really sporty and yes if you're somebody that wants to go to the track i think i said that in my latest 600 shootout video i mentioned that if you're a track guy go with the r6 that one's going to make the most sense for you However, there is a place for the R6. Although it is arguably one of the worst street bikes ever made, it is an absolute weapon on the track. If you are someone who actually wants to use your 600 the way it was intended on the racetrack, then you need to look no further than the Yamaha. It is easily the most set up to go around the track out of the box. So it's, it's nothing personal with the R6. I know that the R6 is best set up for the track out of all of the bikes. 
but it's not like it's that much better than the other bikes. Like a CBR is going to, the CBR 600 R is going to handle almost as well on the track as an R6. I mean, you're talking, if an R6 is 100% handling, the CBR is gonna be 95%. Like it's, it's that close, guys. It's really damn close. And some people like the handling of higher up bars. I've talked to actual racers that race with bars up higher. And so it's not unanimously agreed upon that low clip-ons is the best. It's just the most comfortable when you're in a full tuck position. Now I do think the R6 is just a fan favorite for track bikes and maybe because people don't like them on the street. People bring them to the track. But I, I don't know. I don't think that the handling is that much better on the R6 compared to the other 600s. However, the comfort, if you said the CBR's comfort was 100%, the R6 would be at like 70%, 60%. It's that much less comfortable than a CBR or a GSX-R or maybe even a Kawasaki, maybe even the new one. The new ZX-6R is a lot more comfortable than the old R6. So anyway, nothing personal against the R6. Fantastic bike. I love seeing them. I love hearing them. In terms of everything being considered, every single category, the R6 is not the best. And that's just my opinion on it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Nothing personal, Dark. Uh, I think the R6 is a great bike. I know you said you're a CBR rider. I think you made the right choice. And it's there's not, there's no hate on the R6. In fact, I was pretty upset at Yamaha for getting rid of the R6 in favor of the R7 because all they managed to do was basically change the engine. The bike is relatively similar. It just makes less power and it's more mid-range and bottom end. It's still uncomfortable, it's still whatever, similar weight, all of that. So, all right guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to write in at askherorr at gmail.com if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.